Hey guys, it's Ace here today. Bring you guys a preview discussion for The God of High School, episode 4. And if you guys haven't seen the last episode, make sure you see it. Because there's a lot of like interesting things about the series that we got. That's actually like pretty in-depth. Or I guess it leads to more than just like the next episode. It adds like some questioning and like some different lines of things to happen. Make sure you guys go check that out. Oh, that was particularly interesting, especially with Mori. Things are happening, big things. So check that out. Anyways, if you guys haven't seen last episode, basically we had a fight with um, Mira and we had a fight with Dawi. And we saw that they're particularly strong. Now, I don't know if this is just because like they're not good characters that they fought against. Like the characters they fought against were just weak or generally just like fodder characters. But it was pretty much like a... I don't want to say stopping because like they did get beat in the first part, but afterward it seemed like once they did get full power or like some sort of thing resonated, I don't know what, they end up like just completely roll steamrolling the competition. I'm hoping it's just because it's, it's they want to lay down the grounds how strong these characters are. Um, but other than that, like that that was kind of cool that we saw last episode. I hope that's not the case. Oh geez, if it's the case, I don't know what to say. Like I think it's gonna be pretty linear story i don't think it's the case though so far i hope it's not the case so far because we still don't have any clue about maury's backstory and it's because it seems like maury's pretty strong and do you really want to see like a show where like the main character is like basically steamrolling everything he sees i don't know i don't know um anyways in the last episode we also saw a cult in the beginning of the of the, the before the intro and we also saw like these weird things happening with like maury he ate like the god fruit apparently <laughs> And it's like, are these people praising the the fruit and therefore like praising Mori in a sense? Like they're waiting for like this chosen one to come. I don't know. It's kind of weird. That's what I was just initially thinking for a second because the fruit was like locked down in in the tournament dungeons. It was like super weird. And how much fruit was in there? Because I think I'm I'm wondering if like they gave Mori all the fruit and like like super buffed him up, <laughs> like gave him the extra boost, extra buff boost. Or if it was just, like, one... I don't think there was any left after that. Like, after after they gave Mori... They showed the, the vault. And they gave Mori the fruit. There wasn't any more. So, like, was there one fruit? Or was it multiple fruit? And they just gave it to all Mori. And, like, <laughs> they, like, super buffed him up. Like, basically steroids. I'm wondering if that's the case. Now Mori's gonna be, like, OP now, right? <laughs> Anyways. um, Yeah, Mori ate the fruit. And... Were they praising the fruit? The people in the beginning in the cult were they praising the fruit, and therefore like, oh, now the chosen one or the uh, I don't know the tro the way they're they're waiting for is here now. Like that they they know is here because they ate he ate the fruit, and I'm I don't know how they know they ate the fruit, but I guess he was too late. They ate he ate the fruit, and it seemed like he was able to fight a commissioner. So, oof, that's a lot there. <laughs> There's a lot there. It also might be like worth noting that like the head guy that was that wanted mori to like be the chosen one or like at least administered the fruit to mori was actually saying in the last episode at the end that he didn't want mori to get away i have no clue what that meant like maybe all the commissioners were in the mori's like same as mori where like he was like super strong and they wondered if like they could uh, surpass like the fruit and in that like the fruit like this is okay this is my idea of the fruit is the fruit once you eat it it will make your body like struggle for a bit, and if you if you struggle and you don't pass this sort of like test, you just die. Otherwise, it sort of like awakens this power in you, and that's what I'm thinking. Like Mori has now, he's like this super awakened power. And if he ate like a few of those fruits, he just like super like his body was able to withstand all that. Just imagine how strong he is now. I don't know. Are they, did the commissioners go through the same thing? I don't know. I haven't read the actual um, source material, or I guess the um the manga. I don't, I don't know if it's a manga. The visual novel for anyways. Um, if that's the case, I'm guessing all the the like commissioners have this sort of power where like they're able to summon this this weird like um I don't know, some weird manifestation. Now in the actual episode when when Mori did fight the commissioner, I don't think we saw anyone in the crowd. Now was this a fight where it was like public or was this like strictly a non public fight and so like they wouldn't be able to see it anyways? I don't know. But it seemed like the other commissioners were able to see it. So, like, maybe it's particularly dependent on the eyes or the power level of the person. Because when we did see the power level, when Dowie looked at it, 
the GP of this dude was over 2,500. I don't know if that particularly meant anything, or I'm not sure if... I don't know. It seemed like he was also, like, looking at the clown itself. So, like, maybe this thing was visible. It was so hard to tell. It was so hard to tell. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section below. I, would, I had to rewatch that. Anyways, when all the commissioners stopped the, the commissioner that was fighting Mori, they ended up just, like, I don't know, stopping the thing from, like, completely crushing Mori, and Mori just got out with his life. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, they wanted Mori alive. Like, he wasn't... It didn't seem like a threat. So I'm wondering, like, if they're going to be able to, like, sacrifice him or something. Like, I, I don't know. Like, would they, would they... I don't think they would sacrifice him because the main... I don't know what this dude's name is. The main guy with the axe on his hand, or the, on his forehead, and he's got, like, a cross on his... um. I think he's got a cross on him all the time. He was like, oh, you're never getting away from me. Or we're never going to, like, give you away, something along those lines. Like, you're not going to get away. So, like, it, that's, that's what I was thinking when I was like, oh, is he just, like, one of the did the same trials like a commissioner but i don't think it's the case because also they mentioned maury's past when they were talking when they were looking at maury and giving him before they giving him the fruit they noticed that like his grandfather was like someone of importance as well so yeah like i don't think this is like like if they looked at their grandfather i feel like that's a very much different and they mentioned his grandfather by name so it seemed more than that's the case like he's probably more than just like another commissioner i don't know what that is but he's he's gonna be important. He's gonna be big. <laughs> um, I think it kind of sucks too because I know like they're never gonna get Mori. He's like he's not gonna give Mori away, right? But I don't think in the next few episodes we're actually gonna be able to see what Mori awakened. Oh, well, I guess in the next. I don't think we're gonna see it in the next episode. I think we're gonna get more backstory or something like along those lines. But I'm hoping to see it soon, though. I want to see. I hope I'm wrong, actually. <laughs> Like this would be like I want to see what Mori manifests if he manifests anything. Maybe it's like, just like some like I'm I'm thinking right now like some sort of weird Naruto like thing where it's like, oh, some beast inside of him that completely is able to destroy everything. <laughs> but I'm also thinking like Mori's on par. Like after giving all this fruit, if all those fruit did matter, and maybe it's not just one fruit that they gave him, if all those fruit will allow him to rival the level of the actual like the mate the main dude um with the axe on his forehead i don't is he like the administrator is that what he's called i don't know i will be able to rival him and also I'm, I'm starting to think that like he's not actually the top of the top after seeing that cult like cult like place like they're not actually like praising him as like a god but he's just like one of the like the main arch bishop so to say <laughs> in, in the actual grand scheme of things in the series I don't know. That's what it makes me feel like. Because, like, I don't know. It's, uh Because, like, especially, I think he's the one that did do the, he destroyed the island. I could be mistaken. I think that's a dude, though, right? If he destroyed the island with his, no, that's not it. It's, I don't know. <laughs> that was crazy, though. That was, that was crazy. Also, that begs the question is, like, what's the point of getting all these, like, I don't know, like doing the tournament. I feel like the tournament has another. There's like another reason doing the tournament other than just recruiting people. Like you could recruit people, but I think then you want to like sacrifice them or something if they're like strong enough or like worthy enough to be sacrificed. Like that's the only reason why you'd have a cult, right? Like what you what would you worship other than like fighting? Because it is the god of high school. And it's like a fighting tournament. Like you get you get one of the chosen people or like some weird. Um, I'm thinking of like they have to find the chosen person or people who are actually. Um, like, they have natural power, natural talent, and then, like, if they have enough natural talent or something like that, they're worthy of being sacrificed, and then if they're sacrificed, they're gonna, like, I don't know, awaken something larger, but it's, like, it doesn't seem that anyone else of, like, power, like, the, the police um, in this in this region really care about this sort of thing. Like, maybe it's, like, just under their nose, or but maybe, like, this is over the police, because, like, it seems like that if he was able to destroy an island, and he, he's pretty much able to, like get rid of any sort of like questioning or people that are curious it's like i don't know <laughs> it's pretty crazy this is, this is becoming pretty crazy and which i like a lot i like a lot but that's basically it it's basically it about the anime that's not, not much else to say about that besides those speculations i, I do think we're going to get at least more fights because this, this anime looks like it's a bunch of fights fight over, over this is the third fight the f third day rather we ended on third day of, of the fights i think because when they left we left after that we fought 
or was that no that we left we left before Dao we fought this is after Mira we left and then we got Dowie's fight and then we got Mori's fight so this is the third day we're ending on the third day of the competition and we just saw a lot of fights that's like three three days and we had three fights the first day I guess the first day wasn't really a fight it was like a free-for-all I don't know but it was interesting and it kind of sucked that like when we saw the free-for-all and we saw these characters like it seemed like those characters just weren't they weren't good <laughs> like compared to like the main people they, just, they were crappy which, which kind of sucks to be honest I'm kind of hoping like there are people on par with like Mori or something like that, but maybe maybe we'll be a steamroll like a a one shot series. I don't know. But um, tell me what you guys think about this. Tell me what you think about everything. If you guys do watch or read the the actual uh, visual novel, maybe don't don't say anything. <laughs> maybe you guys will spoil me. But uh, other than that, peace out, guys. Have a nice day. If you guys make sure, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Other than that, see you guys later.